Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a rebuild on this, I believe it's a 98 Polaris Super Sport 488. Uh, we have no power at all with the sled. It will move on its own power, or under its own power, but it won't go very fast and it's just very like sluggish. Uh, eventually we did a compression test on this motor. Uh, both sides are sitting around 60 and they should be at around 120 uh, PSI so we're going to be putting new piston heads in it some gaskets and I set some tools out that we're probably going to need uh, I guess first things first pull the carb off pull this uh, heat shield off pull the spark plug wires off then we can start taking the bolts off the top of the, the head. Looks like we got some mice nest in here. I'll have to clean that out. But got the carburetors off, took the exhaust out. Uh, I guess I'm not sure if I have to take the recoil out or not, but we'll figure that out here in a second. Uh, next we'll take the the bolts holding the top half top half off. And then we'll keep digging into it. Got all the bolts broken loose for the top of the block here I guess the heads are loose now uh, we'll go ahead and pull those out right now I'm working on getting this Y pipe off I got two of the four bolts out and then we'll keep going around taking all these bolts off for this lower black piece Now we're really moving along. Got the Y pipe off. Uh, these actually have a gasket on the inside and then there's this black piece and then there's another, another gasket on the outside of that and then the Y pipe goes on there. I just recently put some RTV uh, silicone on here. I was wondering if, if these boots were leaking that go to the carb. Uh, but that didn't really do anything, but I'll have to clean this off and then put new RTV on um, Next I got to pull off these uh, new lines. This thing's actually got like all new lines except for This oil line that goes down. I couldn't find this filter and I was thinking about maybe just doing no filter But I think it'd probably be best to have a filter that comes down from the oil reservoir uh yeah, this thing's got like all new fuel lines. I believe all we got next left to do is to take these nuts off and then I'll we'll have to figure out this side. I think I still gotta take this recoil off and probably take this piece off, but I don't know. I'm not exactly sure, never done this, but. But yeah, I guess we'll get to it. Looks 
Looks like the gasket fell apart a little bit. Oh, yeah. So we got to inspecting on these cylinder heads, or piston heads, I mean, and we've noticed four cracks. We got one here, uh, one over on this side, barely see it, and then same deal on this piston, cracked here, and then over here as well. 